Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to my bathroom. I'm really excited for this video because it's actually gonna be a little bit of a, a throwback in a sense because it has been forever, I feel like, since I've done a full get ready with me video. I've been doing a lot of vlogs, a lot of day in my life, a lot of stuff like that. But if you've been following me for a long time, you know that I used to do a lot of beauty content. I used to do hair videos, makeup videos, get ready with me videos, fashion videos, showing you guys my outfits and stuff like that. And I kind of I want to get back into doing more content like that. I feel like I just haven't really done it recently. So I'm here today with a full get ready with me. Obviously I'm starting from scratch, looking a little crusty dusty, but we gonna get it together. Comment down below, let me know if you still like this type of content, if you're interested in me doing more of this type of beauty, get ready with me content, or if you think that I should just stick to the lifestyle content, it's okay, you can be honest. Let me know in the comments down below. But the other exciting thing about this video is that it is February, which means it is Black History Month, and I am partnering with one of my favorite stores of all time, Target to do a full get ready with me using nothing but black founded, black owned, black created, black designed products. So everything that I'm about to use and show you guys in this video are all black founded or black owned brands and they're all available at Target. So it's just a win-win situation. If you ask me, you're buying black and you're shopping at Target. It really can't get any better than that. So I really wanted to do this video to celebrate and amplify these black owned and black founded brands because it is Black History Month. But of course I use black owned brands all throughout the year. This is not something that's just for Black History Month. And I like that Target has that same feeling too. They don't just celebrate black owned brands only during February. Black beauty, black history, black culture should be celebrated and amplified all throughout the year. And Target does this in a few different ways. Number one, like I said, they carry the black founded and black owned brands all throughout the year, several different brands. Number two, they celebrate our culture by partnering with black designers, black creatives to create these limited time collections. I'm actually gonna show you guys some pieces from these collections towards the end of the video, so make sure you watch all the way to the end. Third example is they've partnered with Revolt to create a series called Bet on Black, and the purpose of this series is to create more opportunities for black owned businesses. And a fourth example is that Target has invested $10 million in support support of longstanding partners, such as the National Urban League and recovery efforts in local communities. And number five, Target has a scholarship program that provides a thousand HBCU students $5,000 scholarships, plus extra things like mentoring, networking opportunities, and internships. So all in all, I just wanted to do this video for Black History Month and just kind of inspire you guys to celebrate, support, amplify black culture, black history, black beauty, black owned brands throughout the entire year, not just in the month of February. And an easy way that you can do that is buying black at Target. So now let's get into the first steps of this transformation. First step is to take a shower, do my body care and everything. And the first brand that I wanted to highlight is Shea Moisture, which is a black founded brand. Shea Moisture is a tried and true brand for me. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I've been using several products from this brand for several years. For my shower today, I'm gonna be using the Coconut and Hibiscus Illuminating Body Wash. And then when I get out the shower, I'm gonna be using the Matching Body Oil. These products are loaded with natural ingredients, no parabens, no sulfates, it's not tested on animals, everything like that, as well as just like I said, having really good ingredients in it like vitamin E, hibiscus extract, coconut oil, fair trade shea butter, just really good for your skin. And like I said, smells really good too. Okay, so just took a nice relaxing shower. I wish you guys could smell me right now, as creepy as that sounds. The Shea Moisture product just smells so good. I just feel like Real tropical right now, fresh. Okay, now for skincare. For my skincare, normally I will just wash my face in the shower just to make it easier while I'm in there, but I wanted to show you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it at my sink for today. And I'm gonna be using some products from Rosen Skincare. I'm excited to tell you guys about Rosen Skincare because this is actually not my first time telling you guys about Rosen Skincare. Back in 2018, the founder reached out to me, and I believe this is back when they were first getting started as a small black owned business 
They reached out to me, asked if I wanted to try some of their products. I did. I ended up liking a lot of their products and literally making it a part of my skincare routine. Fast forward to now, 2022, they are now in Target, which is just so cool. The founder's name is Jamika Martin, and I just wanted to personally congratulate you, Jamika, on all of your success because I remember back in 2018 trying out your products and it's just really cool to see how far you've taken your brand and all the success with it. So like I said, I'm gonna be going in with a couple of products from Rosen Skincare today. First product is this super smoothie cleanser. This is the box that it comes in, super cute packaging. So some specs on this cleanser, it's really good for textured skin. And if you have any sort of acne scarring or dark marks, it is slightly exfoliating to help remove the buildup and the dead skin. And it also has antibacterial properties to help fight active breakouts. It has brightening ingredients to help brighten up those dark spots. And it is formulated with super pure fruit powders that help to smooth out textured skin. And textured skin, acne, dark marks, those are all things that I still deal with. Also from Rosen Skincare, I have the Tropics Moisturizer. This has hyaluronic acid in it, pineapple enzymes. Once again, good for textured skin acne prone skin, everything like that. And with both of these products, you can probably just tell by looking at them that they are not your average everyday basic skincare products. You can see literally that they're formulated with innovative ingredients that really help acne prone skin. And the last step of my skincare routine today is going to be Black Girl Sunscreen. This is an SPF 30 sunscreen. And one of the main features about it is that it's not going to give you a white cast. It doesn't leave white residue. It's not gonna give you that chalky sunscreen look, especially if you have a darker skin tone. It's also infused with natural ingredients. It's infused with jojoba and avocado. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, water resistant for up to 80 minutes, all around just a really good sunscreen and it's super important to be wearing your SPF daily to help fight those premature signs of aging and sun damage. So always wear your SPF ladies and this is a really good one. Okay, now we are over here on the other side of my bathroom at the hair sink, the hair station. I use that side for skincare, this side for hair. And obviously I have my hair in a protective style right now. I have these faux locks soft locks. So luckily I don't have to do too, too much to my hair today, but what I do need to do is oil my scalp and do my edges. I've been applying oil to my scalp about once a week since I've had these locks just because it does kind of get kind of dry and irritated and flaky. My scalp is kind of sensitive to protective styles. So I like to put something on it to keep it hydrated and kind of like soothe it. And also even better if I can promote hair growth while I have the protective style in. So the oil that I have been using is this one right here. This is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Strength and Length System Seven Oil Blend Hair and Scalp Oil for weak breakage prone hair. No petroleum, mineral oil, artificial colors, and it's made with castor oil and black cumin seed. <laughs> that is a mouthful, but this is just a really nice hair oil, once again, just for the purposes of hydrating my scalp and helping with the flakiness, helping to just kind of like loosen things up, if you know what I mean, but also this is from the Goddess Strength Collection, which I've been using this collection to help grow my hair overall. I've used it at different points over the years when I am trying to grow my hair. Y'all know I go through phases where sometimes I'm just cutting all my hair off and sometimes I'm trying to grow it out, but I found that the Carol's Daughter Goddess strength collection really helps when I'm trying to grow it out. So all I'm gonna do is just take a little bit and apply it to my parts and then kind of rub it in, especially in the areas that need it most, like around my hairline, where I'm trying to make sure that my edges are growing back in and everything, where I'm trying to make sure that I can get some nice full lush edges. And I also use it when I don't have a protective style in just like as part of my weekly hair care routine. And then, like I said, I just have to style my baby hairs. I told my hairstylist to leave out a good amount of baby hairs 
when she did the locks because I wanted, you know, something to work with. So I've been making sure that I like, you know, swoop and style them. And I'm gonna be using the Miel Rosemary Mint Edge Gel. This edge gel is actually infused with biotin and it's a strengthening and hydrating edge gel. So while you're styling your edges, you're also promoting healthy edges, promoting, you know, strength and length and keeping your edges intact, basically. So I just clip the locks back out of the way so I can just get to my edges. And I'm taking the Miel Rosemary Mint Edge Gel just on a little edge brush like this. And of course, there's multiple ways that you can style your edges. My hair is like a 3B type texture, so I don't know if y'all can see they have like this curl going already, especially since I had her leave out like a good amount of hair. Like this is not really baby hairs, it's kind of getting into the adult hairs territory, but that's kind of the look I was going for. So I kind of just like to go with the flow of my curl pattern that's already happening here and just kind of, you know, slick it and I guess kind of clean it up a little bit so it's not frizzy, but still kind of leaving the natural curl like loose from my face, if that makes sense, like that little moment there. So I'm just gonna like do a little swoop right here and then let the ends curl up. Something kind of like that. So it's like neat, but still a natural vibe, I guess is kind of the vibe I'm going for. And this edge gel holds all day. It has a really good hold. It doesn't get all like flaky and, and give you like a, a white residue or anything like that. It's just a really nice clean hold. Okay, now for makeup. Oh my gosh, this is like, I haven't done a makeup video like, like this in so long. Okay, anyway, now for makeup, I've already got my like primer and foundation done, boring stuff out the way. Moving on to contour, just going straight in with contour. I'm gonna be using a product that you guys have heard me talk about before. This is the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. These foundation sticks come in a whole bunch of colors. I've obviously got it in a darker tone here. This is in shade Truly Topaz because I'm gonna be using it as a contour stick. This actually has SPF 15 in it, so I'm kind of doubling up on my SPF on top of the Black Girl Sunscreen. It's hypoallergenic, paraben-free, fragrance-free, overall good for sensitive skin and everything like that. So you could definitely use these all over the face, like your actual foundation shade and then your contour shade and even a highlight shade. I'm just gonna go in and use it as contour today. And I like to use it with a brush and brush directly onto the brush like this. This just helps you get a more blended result and prevent any harsh lines. And I even like to kind of pre-blend it and then I put it on my forehead to add some warmth going around the baby hairs, down on my temples, like on either side of my eyebrow. And I'm doing this before I set my foundation. So I just have foundation on, no powders, no nothing else yet. Always wash your hands right before you do your makeup if you're gonna be using the hand palette technique. Because this is a foundation stick, it actually is adding coverage too. It's not just adding like the darker color, it's actually helping to cover anything, like any imperfections that I might have on my cheeks and on my forehead. So hopefully y'all can see how that just like warmed up the perimeter of my face. And I'm also going to go in and literally go right down my nose. Normally when you think about nose contour, you think about doing the two lines on either side, but lately I've just been doing this technique where you literally just go right down the whole like front section of your nose, especially focusing on the tip of the nose. And then after I add my highlighter, you'll see that it still kind of gives you that same contour effect overall, but this is honestly just easier. So like whole nose, kind of darkened up, cheekbones, forehead. You can go under your chin, under your jawline a little bit to kind of like carve that out. Down your neck a little bit, just to make sure everything is blended. And that's the contour with the Black Opal Foundation Stick. 
Okay, so now we have foundation, contour, and I went ahead and did my concealer. And to set my concealer and everything, I'm gonna be using this Beauty Bakery Pinch of Flower setting powder. So cute. Beauty Bakery is just such a cute, cute, cute makeup brand. The whole like baking theme behind it and the packaging, like this comes in this, which looks like a little thing of flour. Like it has like nutrition facts. I just love the aesthetic of Beauty Bakery and the products work really well too. So this is in the shade Costava, which is like the yellow shade. I'm just gonna put some in the lid and I'm going to take a little soft, gentle brush and tap this under my eye to set my concealer. Not too much, I'm not going full bake mode. No pun intended with the beauty bakery. But I'm just doing kind of like two layers, but like two thin layers, like in this kind of boom, boom, boom triangle area, going like up against my nose on the sides. And I'm also gonna use the same powder in my highlighted area, so like my chin here, on my like smile lines between my brows and dusting it on my actual eyelid. Look how nice that is, like look at the under eye. Smooth, cute. And this Beauty Bakery powder is also gluten-free and vegan. Also by Beauty Bakery, I'm gonna be going in with their Snackaroons blush. This is in the shade Freshly Baked. Again, super cute packaging, super cute theme to it. I'm taking a brush like this. This is a highly pigmented blush. And you can see here, I have kind of a darker shade than what I normally do. I'm just like very into blush these days. I like a very blushed look like right here. So I've been using like darker, more pigmented shades. And if you struggle finding a blush that actually like shows up, this one will do it for you. So to prep for blush, I'm just going to lightly, lightly, lightly dust my face with setting powder, like just a really light dusting over the whole rest of my face. And then I can go in with the blush and kind of doing the same trick that I did with the contour. I'm kind of using my hand as a palette to make sure that everything is gonna be soft and blended. If you just like dip directly, put directly, it's kind of like stamping your face, you know what I mean? So I just wanna get a more blended effect by like using the back, or actually the inside of my hand. And then I'm gonna start tip tapping the blush right on the high points in this sort of like upward, backward motion on this area of my face. Gentle blending motions. And I'm also going to put it on my nose, like kind of like from halfway down to the tip of my nose, like that. And like I said, I like a very kind of heavy blush. That's just kind of my thing lately. So I really like this super pigmented Beauty Bakery blush. Okay, so this is pretty much the face done. And now for the eyes, the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using this black opal eyeshadow palette. These are the True Melanin High Impact Eyeshadows. These are highly pigmented, easily blendable. You can see that this palette is kind of a mix of earth tones, some shimmer shades, some matte shades, definitely my jam for like an everyday glam look, which is what I'm going for today. I am gonna start with this shade here as a crease shade. This is a matte kind of chocolate brown. And I'm gonna do a really simple but effective eyeshadow look. This is like my go-to look. So I'm just running this chocolate brown shade in a rounded windshield wiper motion all the way back and forth, like all the way towards my nose and all the way to the other side. And you can see these just blend out with ease, give you that nice diffused look. Boom, super simple. Then I'm gonna go in with this golden shimmer shade here. And this is gonna be one of two of my crease colors. So I'm gonna focus this on the inner half. So starting at the inner corner of my eye, going halfway across. Just packing that on the eyelid. You can even do this with your fingers if you want to. I have long nails, so it's hard for me to do that. But this is a super simple, beginner-friendly eyeshadow look. I tend to keep it simple with my eyeshadow when I have lash extensions on. 
So we have the shimmer gold on the inner corner and then I'm gonna take the more coppery shade next to it, which is also a shimmer shade. And I'm gonna do that on the outer half of the lid just to kind of give it a gradient effect slightly. And then just blend them together in the middle and boom, that's pretty much it. It's super simple, like I said, beginner friendly, but like flattering, natural, cute eyeshadow look. This is like my go-to, like I said, everyday look. And then just to kind of finish it off, I'm gonna go back into that brown shade that we used first. And I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line just a little bit, more so on the outer half of the eye. So just like that to add a little bit of dimension on the lower lash line. And then I almost forgot, actually, I always like to do a super bright shade in the inner corner. So I'm gonna go in with the brightest shimmer shade in this palette, which is this shade right here on a small brush and just highlight my inner corner, like my tear duct, like that. Since I have lash extensions, I don't really need to do mascara or lashes or anything like that. Of course, you can add lashes. Okay, so the eyes and everything are done. Now to finish off the look, we just have to do lips and I'm gonna be using two products from Minted. So first off, I have the Minted Cosmetics La La Lip Pencil. This is a long wearing waterproof lip pencil, super creamy formula that just glides on super easily. So I'm just going to line my lips. So there is the lip liner on. I didn't do it super precise because I'm actually going to blend it out with my finger a little bit, just to kind of diffuse it a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna be taking the Minted Cosmetics Semi Matte Lipstick. These come in a bunch of nude shades. They're super moisturizing. They are vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, non-toxic, vanilla scented. They smell like cupcakes, literally. So I'm just gonna put on a little dab and blend it out. I'm trying to just blend the lipstick into the lip liner so it all kind of diffuses and blends together. And voila, this is the finished makeup look, kind of natural earth tones, daytime glam vibes. Super simple, but very, like I said, effective. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And now let's go get dressed. Okay, now for the outfit, I told you guys in the beginning of the video that I was gonna be showing you some pieces from the limited time collections that are available at Target right now. They partnered with black owned companies and black designers to put together these limited time collections of clothing and accessories and things like that. So I have a few different options that I wanted to show you guys, starting off with the collection from J Dow Fitness. So this is an athleisure collection created by Dr. Jacqueline Dow. She created this collection to promote holistic wellness, fitness, and self-confidence among women of color. You can see her here on the tag. So these are just some really cute athleisure pieces. I have this berry, um, like one piece jumpsuit here. It's like a tank top on top with a racer bag, built in bra, and then it kind of connects down to these leggings that have pockets on either side. I just think this color is really pretty and this is something cute and different rather than your you know, plain basic leggings to work out in. So this is super cute. Then also from the J Dow Fitness Collection, I have this two piece set with this really pretty vibrant pattern on it. So it's a cropped, short sleeve um, athletic top with the matching high-waisted leggings. Really cute workout outfit. And then also to kind of mix and match with the leggings, I have this bright orange kind of more t-shirt material tank top and it has this really cute crisscross detail on it. I think I'm actually going to wear this top today so I'll show you guys how it looks on. It's really cute, but you can kind of mix and match with the leggings and the top and things like that. And then I also have a couple of pieces from the Jolie Noir Black History Month limited time collection at Target. So Jolie Noir was actually founded by two sisters. You can see them here on the tag, Keandra and Kim Lockett. And they founded this company to just diversify the fashion industry and just show the diverse beauty of black women. So they're just trying to normalize diversity and inclusion within the fashion industry through this elevated athleisure brand. So I have these shorts here 
here from them, which have this really pretty print on them. I love the color palette of these shorts. Super comfy, elastic waistband. And then I also have these joggers, which are in one of my all-time favorite colors, the muted blush pink color. They're so soft on the inside. And like I said, I just love this color. So I think I'm actually going to mix and match for my outfit today and wear the J Dow Fitness top with the Jolie Noir joggers. And then to go with it, I have some jewelry pieces. These are from the Jam and Rico Black History Month limited time edition collection at Target. I love these beaded gold earrings. And then I have the creator chain. So Jam and Rico is a black owned fashion jewelry company that is inspired by Caribbean culture. They're all about bold and unique designs. And they said that they travel to the Caribbean to be inspired by the people, the culture, the music, and the terrain. And I think you can easily see that coming through their designs. These are super cute. Okay, so here is the final look. Here is the top on. So you can see what I was talking about with the waist crisscross action here. Super cute, super comfy, cute joggers, the earrings, the creator necklace, which I just think is perfect because I am a content creator and the earrings match the top and everything. So we've got Jam and Rico, Jade Al Fitness and Jolie Noir. We've got all black founded or black owned products in the hair, the skin, the makeup look and boom, final look. I think this look turned out super cute. Y'all comment down below, let me know what you think. And once again, I just kind of wanted to wish you guys a happy Black History Month and inspire you guys to celebrate black culture, black beauty, celebrate your black culture and your black beauty this month, but also all year long, as well as doing whatever you can to amplify black voices, black founded companies, black owned companies, black creatives, black designers. And of course, now is a great time to buy black. So if you are interested in anything you saw in this video, like I said, Everything will be linked down below and everything is available at Target. Let me know what you think of the look in the comments and let me know if I should do more videos like this and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.